date, man. I have a hard time trying to date, man, find the right date, man. I met a young lady on a blind date. We met on the telephone. We talked about two days and decided to make a date to go bike riding in the park. So I threw my bike rack on my car, my bike on the bike rack. I went back and picked up, blew the horn, and you, and you know, people lie to you on the phone, man. We ain't never met them, they lie to you. Woman told me she had big boobs, fat ass, low weight, and only weighed 130 pounds. I'm like, shit, damn on this. And I go over there and I throw the horn, she sticks her head out the door, just her head alone weighing 200 pounds. I'm like, God damn. She's like, I'll be about five minutes. So I'm sitting out in the car and I'm jamming in my box, you know, and I'm listening to the brother that, you know. Well, what's the guy named that DJ for y'all up here on the radio? Do we know any English? Cause saying like he cursed every motherfucker. <laughs> you know, but I'm listening to my radio, you know. About 15 minutes go by, she hadn't came out. I got out the car and went and knocked on the door. So her son came to the door. I'm like, is Mary ready then? He's like, she said she'd be about another five minutes. So five minutes went by, 10 minutes went by, 12 minutes went by, she hadn't came out. So I just pushed the door. And I should have knew something was wrong because my son had a flashlight bringing him down the hallway like this. <laughs> <laughs> like a 747, man. The woman weighs 650 pounds. <laughs> then lied her ass off. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure how in the world I'm going to get two bikes and a 650 pound woman out to the park. And I'm driving a Yugo. <laughs> I couldn't think of nothing, man. I just said, fuck it. I put the bikes in the car and put ass on the bike rack. <laughs> yeah, the willy all the way, man. <laughs> and she was rude, man. Rude to my husband. Broke wind, blew me two blocks ahead of steps. <laughs> I'm like, girl, we're so glad your ass on the outside. <laughs> Got three blocks from the park. Police pulled us over. Made us go to the way station. <laughs> you know where the 18 wheelers go. Been three days in there waiting for this woman to lose weight. Could have been out in two if she didn't brought all them damn snacks with her, man. <laughs> you know, but we made it to the park, got the bike out the car, got the help, got off the rack. You know, the little tennis bean seats, the little bitty seats? <laughs> Disappeared, man. <laughs> Sucked it right up. <laughs> Ass hanging over the seat like saddlebags. <laughs> I thought she had a beeper in her pocket, turned out it was a VCR. <laughs> And you know what you gotta do with a 650 pound woman? You gotta feed her ass, man. So I took her to an all you could eat restaurant. They were locking the doors, I was taking her ass off the rack. <laughs> she just kicked the door in. <laughs> and grabbed the bar and drug it all the way over to our table. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but it was nine waiters holding on my other end of it. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I'm taking your ass home. And we had one more engagement to make before I took her home, and that was to go to a Luther Vandross concert. Y'all familiar with Luther? Luther was jamming, man, throwing down. But when the concert was over, everybody was just sitting there. She said, baby, why is everybody sitting here? I said, I don't know, baby, let me ask this guy. I said, hey, man, what's up? I came back, I said, hey, baby. He said, ain't nobody gonna leave until you start singing. <laughs> Somebody explain it to the rest of them, would you? I say, girl, that's it, I'm taking your ass home. I get the young lady home, she invites me in for a drink. I go in to have a drink, I'm sitting on the sofa, she goes in the bedroom. Comes back out butt naked. 650 pounds of wave and flesh. Tattoo on a surfboard on her kitty. I'm like, girl, what the hell are you doing? She's like, come on in. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do shit with that. Come on in. I'm like, it's dark down there. I need some light. I went out to my car, got a flashlight. I came back, I'm looking down in there and dropped my damn flashlight. <laughs> Y'all laughing. I wasn't leaving my flashlight. <laughs> so I went down there after it. You know, and I'm reaching for it. I'm reaching, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm reaching. Just when I get ready to grab it, I fall in my damn set. <laughs> and it pissed me off. Cause it was already another brother down there. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, what the hell are you doing down here? Help me find my flash like we can get the hell out of here. He's like, fuck that, man. Help me find my car keys so we can drive out here. <laughs> I don't mess with no more blind.
nine days after that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't believe me when I talk about a 650 pound woman. <laughs> and I'm serious. <laughs> Shine Jones, this is my road manager. How about a hand for him? A lot of people don't believe me when I talk about a 650 pound woman. So I brought a little something just to let y'all know. That's the only part of my bit that wasn't a joke. They make a lot of talk. I got down on my knees, and I said, Lord, when it was cold, 